Gentlemen, it's been a long time since we've done an NA Alliance transmog comp. It is often considered the bottom of the barrel. However, today, expectations have been shattered and people have ascended beyond what I thought the Alliance was even possible of. Today, we have returned. Today, I fully expect to see some of you guys actually looking good. I'm gonna be honest. Blizzard puts out those stupid fucking tweets. Share your mog for Monday, and all the sets are fucking garbage. Mm. If I see anybody posting their shitty transmog on those tweets, I block them. Mm. I don't want to see it, I don't want to hear it. Gentlemen, today, let's be honest. If you're playing Alliance at this point in the game, it's because you care more about aesthetics than anything else in the game because the only thing that you can do is look cool because nobody else plays on the faction. Gentlemen, today we're going to come down, we're going to look at 39 of you, and we're going to figure out which of you has the best set in the game. We meet again. We meet again. A double -E. Now, you guys already know who this is. This is the guy that won the mount off last week. We know him. Obviously, he's got the new shoulders right there, the gloves from Old Deer. Uh, let's see, that tabard is the TCG tabard. The helmet right there is some fucking fishing helmet. The, the uh, back piece right there, is this the back piece with the black one or the gold one? This is the black one. That means that that one comes from, I believe, the Adamant Vaults. This is a very rare back piece we were able to get from Torghats that came out in patch 9.1. That weapon right there is a, is a, a fucking caster weapon that comes from Zul in, um, uh, what's it called? And actually, I think based off of the coloration of it, that means I believe it's the normal mode version of the Zul weapon that comes from Aldir, as well as the uh, this book that comes from Mother in Aldir as well. I'm going to be honest. I think this guy spent more time farming mounts than farming transmog. Uh, I, I think that he spent a lot more time. This transmog is one of those sets that looks a lot better the less you look at it. So, for example, if you look, it, it, looks, good at a, it looks good at a distance, okay? Like, look at that. It looks pretty good, right? And then the closer you get to it, the more it starts to suck a little bit of dick. And the reason for that is because it looks like you left your back piece out there out in the sun. So it doesn't look that great. Also, the boots down there, are those the Shadowcraft boots? Those the Tier 1 Rogue boots that are uh, uh, used? Or is that the off version? Let me see if it is or not. And uh, I think that it could be. Uh, volatile Walkers, no, it's not. All right, I don't know what those boots are. They're leather boots. Who gives a fuck? The rest of these items I do think look okay. But for the most part, I think that you tried to do something really cool, and I just don't like the back piece. I think the back piece isn't that cool. That's my main opinion on it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about it? Old deer boots? Uh, are they really the old deer boots? I don't think they're the old deer boots. Yeah, they're all right. It's not amazing. Death Lord Herbster. What do we got going on here? Are those the leggings and the boots from Castle Nathria? Yeah, although I believe that is actually the PvP offset color for Prideful Season. The belt right there from uh, Ilganoth on Mythic and Emerald Nightmare. The helmet there from Olduwar. That's the tier set for Warriors. The tabard of the Ebon Blade. The shoulders and the gloves both from the Mythic set for DKs in Nighthold. And the weapons. The mount? Oh, I usually don't do mounts. Uh, but the weapons right there. I'll do mount for in a second, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll go back to his mount in a second. Um, and the weapons, obviously, are Quel Dwar. We'll get back to you in just a second. Oh, Dull Bleak, do you have a mount? Of course you have a mount. Which one are you going to use? You've got more than me. That's pretty good. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, that's actually pretty good. That's good, All bro. things considered, yeah. Yeah, like, that actually, that redeems the, the leggings. Or, sorry, not the leggings. The, yeah, the back piece right there. I actually think this is really, really good now. It straight up saved it. The helmet is a little bit it's a little bit odd, but I don't think the helmet is fundamentally bad. I actually really think that this uh, uh, this this mount, this is obviously the Fallen Charger. Uh, this looks really, really good. Tree Sentinel? Yeah, he's basically the Tree Sentinel. Exactly. Good enough. Now let's go back to this guy. Good job, Adol Bleak. I'm proud of you. Herbster. Now, this set is the equivalent 
of a girl who just left her house for the first time and she's living with her friends in a sorority going to Target and buying a piece of wood that says live laugh love on it. It's boring. It's cookie cutter. It's lame. And we've all seen it too many times before. Let's see your mount. To be fair, I think Invincible was actually a relatively good choice for Mount in this uh, with this set. Uh, I think that this is a relatively decent choice. What do you guys think? It, it's it's not that bad. Yeah, it it's it looks decent. Now, obviously, is it amazing? No, I don't think that it's amazing, but I think that it's okay. And okay sometimes is good enough. It's good enough. Good job, Herbster. Let's go to the next one. We have seen it a lot before. The Honorable. Akira Chan from the Guild Dark Intentions. Helmet right there from the tier, uh, sorry, uh, 8.5 gear. That's a corrupted helmet. That weapon right there, I think, is the PvP version of the uh, Sasquulvage, which is the weapon. It's a uh, staff that drops from the second boss in uh, Nylotha uh, from Mount. And uh, the leggings there and also the chest piece, both of these are from, I believe, uh, Battle of the Tsar Lore. And the, the shoulders here, I think, are... What are these shoulders? These are tier shoulders. I don't remember which one. Is this the uh, the Dragon Soul one? I don't remember. It's been so long. Let me see. Is this Dragon Soul? Faceless Follower's Mantle? Is it Dragon Soul? Uh, I believe that it's Dragon Soul. I always see the helmet. I never see the shoulders. It's the squid one. I think this is an okay set. Right? This is basically your traditional... Yeah, Warlock Darks. All right, I thought so. I just wasn't 100% on this one. I always see the helmet. I never see the shoulders. So listen, I think this is a decent item. And the boots are the ones you haven't seen here before? Yeah, well, here's the problem. Is that it doesn't really matter what the fuck your boots are. They're just black boots. Who gives a fuck about your boots? Listen, this is a decent looking set. I like your colors, and I actually think that you did something very interesting with this. I'm willing to say this. If you have a good mount... I could legitimately see this this set maybe getting a placing. If you have a ridiculously good mount. Awaken Mind Borer? Oh, you know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. You had to go with something that was pale, that matched the old god theme. And to be honest... We all knew what it was going to be. Listen, man. I actually don't think it's that bad. Yes, obviously, there are sets that suck more dick than this. But I think that there's going to be at least five that suck less. At least I hope so. This set is decent, however. I like your use of the, uh, of the staff. We very rarely get to see that staff. Let's see the next one. Dragon Slayer Sensei WW from the guild. Keep that same energy. What do you guys think the odds are this guy's a PvPer? <sighs> yeah. So what we've got here is the traditional everyday PvPer trans monk. Now, uh, the way you can tell it's a PvPer is they're playing a female character, they have a stupid guild name, and they also are using a TCG tabard. Those shoulders right there are the offset versions of the uh, druid shoulders from Firelance, but these are actually only obtainable from the island expeditions in BFA. The gloves and also the legs and boots there are all tier 6, although you mismatch them because you're using all of the tier 6 items, although the boots there are from Black Temple set and the leggings and the gloves are actually from Sunwell. You've got the double dick belt with, of course, the TCG tabard and that weapon that you're using here, Flame of Ragnaros Enchant. Yes, I know that. It's the Flame of Ragnaros Enchant. And the weapon that you're using there is the one-handed sword that drops from Elagon on heroic mode because it's brown. Let's see your mount. There's part of me that kind of likes this. I, I actually kind of like this. Like, I mean, all things considered, even though it's a little bit goofy, it's a little bit different. Like, and, and also you have to think about it in the context of this is a PvP, right? So you can't expect, you know, like certain things, right? Um, I, I feel like it's okay. I actually think it looks okay. 
I think the helmet and the shoulders look good. And I like the, the, the fact that you went with those weapons. I really do. I think the weapons are really well uh, well designed. The mount, obviously, this is the mount from Nightbane. It came out in the new Karazhan raid. I got it on the first day, by the way. It was a good day. And uh, overall, I think this is decent enough, man. You went too soft? No, I think this is an okay-looking set. It's decent enough. Good job, Sensei. I'm proud of you. Let's look at the next one. Rathus, the Proven Assailant from the Guild Control Freaks. So, what happened to your legs? So you're using a helmet and shoulders and all these other items from the Legion. Obviously, those weapons, sorry, the weapons right there are, of course, the uh, Legion artifact weapon. The boots there come from Old Deer. Uh, the belt, the shoulders right there are the Tier 6 items. Those are the offset from, um, uh, what's it called, from uh, Tomb of Sargeras. And, uh, oh, 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 just a minute. He's trying to change it up. He thinks we're not going to notice. Come on. What's this? What are you doing? Is this your mount? Okay. Saber Stalker's Tabard that you get from Tanan Jungle and Warlords of Draenor. And then you changed your boots right there. So the boots that you were originally using were the old deer boots, and you changed them to the boots from the tier set from Legion. I believe that is also the Antorus or the uh, Tomb of Sargeras. I forgot which one. I think it's the Antorus. So, I'm going to be honest. We've seen a lot of sets like this. We've seen probably too many sets like this. Wraithus, if you have a good mount, I'll say this is an okay set. But I'm really worried that you don't have a good mount. You know what? I actually think that's pretty good. Straight up. He's using, yeah, he's actually, he's just using a big fucking bear. This bear drops from a rare spawn in a, uh, in the Dark Shore, in a patch, I think, what, what, what patch was this? 8.1, I believe. I, I'd actually don't, 8.1 or 8.2, this is a decent, uh, it's a decent mount. Uh, it's got relatively high pixel count, so it looks like it matches with the rest of his gear. All things considered, it also shows off his fist weapons pretty well. I think it looks decent enough, man. Good job, Rathus. Best the Aladdin, Fame Slayer of Nazoth. I have that title as well. So let's look at what he's got going on there. That helmet right there is a tier six helmet as well as the shoulders. Both of these are from uh, Tomb of Sargeras, actually, I believe. And then uh, the back piece there, of course, is the uh, Vinthyr back piece. And uh, what weapon is this? <coughs> this is actually one of the new weapons that comes from... Uh, I don't know if this is a PvP weapon or not, but uh, I don't know what the colors are for these, but I believe this is one of the new ones from Sepulchre or for PvP. I don't remember which one. And then, of course, the kilt there is the Malevolent Gladiator's kilt that's available only to Paladins as well as the belt. Both of these came out in, uh, in Mists of Pandaria. Let me go back and I'm going to see this. Okay. Wow. This guy raids? Oh, my God. What's wrong with you? Why would you do such a thing? Take out your weapons so we can see your shield. His shield would be on his back, but because he's using that back piece, it obscures his shield. Okay, you're using the other same shield. Hmm. I'm going to be honest, guys. I really don't think it's that great. Uh, I actually think that it sucks. kind of sucks dick. Now, I want to talk to you exactly about why it sucks dick. It sucks dick from the bottom down, which is usually the opposite. The leggings are very low poly count. They don't match the theme of the red and gold. And to be honest with you, I think the weapon, the shield, the helmet, the, sh the back piece, and also the shoulders all look amazing together. But the Lore Walker's tabard with that fucking kilt looks like trash. Let's see your mount. Shores and helmet doesn't fit the rest. It does if you look at it in an abstract. So, the mount from getting exalted with the uh, Emperor Shaohao in Timeless Isle. The heavenly golden uh, cloud serpent. Get off it. Get off that mount. Don't ever get on that mount again. Nobody wants to see that mount. I spent too long farming for that mount. Nobody likes it. Nobody ever wants to see that mount again. 
You did okay. This is a good idea. But it remains still an idea. Okay, okay. All right, you've got the Nighthold Belt right there, the Tabard of the Argent Dawn, the kilt right there. I believe that's actually the kilt from Olduwar. And then the shoulders there. Oh, wow. I, oh, oh, look at the shoulders, by the way. Look at what he's doing. So he's using one shoulder that's gold, one that's black, changing things up. And I bet he's got the gold and black back piece, doesn't he? Yes, he fucking does. And then also using the helmet here from Olduwar as well, with the staff there for Holy Priest that came from Legion. And I think also, yes, yes, uh, ferocious, elite ferocious gladiator legs. Oh, right, okay. And then it must be the elite ferocious gladiator uh, shoulders as well. Of course, because you're using the, the mythic shoulders and, oh, that's so good. You never see that. Holy shit. Oh, wow. I, I really, really like this. This is really cool. Yeah, this is a this is a big dick set. Persidious. Please get on a mount. I think this set actually looks really good, especially when if you step back a little bit. Oh man. That that is oh my god. That is that the ferocious gladiator one too? Fierce. Okay, never mind. It's not. I forgot which one. I only have two of them. Uh, I got fucked on the other ones. This is a pretty badass fucking set. I love this using a gladiator mount. And also that look at the armor on the gladiator mount matching with the uh, with this set here. And then also the uh, the white skin on this mount matching with the white armor. I really, really, really like this. Especially since we never see anybody using these mounts either. It doesn't fit. I think it does. Like, I, I really, really like it. I think this looks badass. Yeah, oh my, yeah, this is good. Matches belt. Yes, it actually does match the belt. Look at that belt. That's a very good point. I didn't even notice that. Really good job. I miss trap XD. Look what we've got. We've got another PvPer. You see, I can tell if people are PvPers or not based off of how stupid their name is. The stupider their name is, the higher their rating is. So what we have right here, this is obviously a guy playing this character. And this is probably not what his girlfriend looks like because he doesn't have one. Obviously, he's using the staff right there that comes from uh, Shadowlands. It's just a random staff. That chest piece is actually not a chest piece. It's a shirt that you're able to use. It's like a bloody bandage or something like that. And then the legs and the boots are just random assorted green items of no real significance. Let's be honest. This character looks pretty hot. And I like the fact that you're actually doing a body painting stream. It looks great. You should do that on Twitch. Get on the mount. I actually think it's perfect. I, I, I do. I, I legitimately think that it's perfect. I, it matches, like, the, the mane on the goat matches so well the skull on the scythe. This is as good as it gets. Yeah, he's riding Torrent. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, like, it's actually really fucking good. Like, obviously this set is super fucking basic and it's probably not going to actually win, but I, I really, Massive Cock, there you go. Massive Cock. This is decent enough, I like this. It's Argos? Yeah, sure. If it was Argos, he would have had to buy it. Good job, I missed Trent. I'm proud of you. Let's go to the next one. Gauntlet Runner Tendon. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh my god. I love this. I really like this a lot. So let's talk about what he's got going on here. So those leggings right there, I think, come from BFA. Those are just dungeon leggings. The chest piece, the gloves, and the helmet right there are the Necro Lord items that you're able to get just for the faction. The weapons, I believe, are also Necro Lord swords. Those shoulders there are the normal version of the Cataclysmic Gladiator shoulders that came out, obviously, in Cataclysm. That belt right there is from the Hellfire Citadel Warrior set. And then the boots there are the offset Death Knight boots that came out in Grievous Season from Mists of Pandaria. This is pretty fucking good. Actually, I think those might... Actually, wait a second. 
Are this prideful? Maybe they're not. Yeah, they're prideful. Okay, yeah. They were basically about the same, but they were a different color. Uh, I, I really like this. Belt doesn't match. I think the worst part about the set is the belt. Uh, I agree with you. I, I think the worst part about the set is the belt. Take out your weapons so we can see them a little bit better. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, I really, really, really like this set. Uh, I think that the weapons are a little bit, uh, they're a little bit bland. They're a little bit boring. But overall, I really like this set, man. Do you guys not like it? I guess as a warrior, I, I like seeing somebody who's never died. I have never seen somebody use this set before. So I like it. That's pretty cool. Like, I mean, am I wrong? Like, do you guys really not like this? I think that it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I, I think it's decent enough. Yeah, good job, Tinden. I'm proud of you. I know some of the chat are trying to hold you down. Don't worry about them. You, you made a good set. You tried to do something different and unique. Some people can't appreciate that. It's okay. I do. Good job. Warrior favoritism? No. Dare boy. Champion of the frozen wastes. Live, laugh, love. You've got another person trying to go with the new Death Knight transmog. I'm going to be honest. I've seen a whole lot of these. The gloves and the boots right there from the Sanctum of Domination Warrior set. The leggings and the shoulders there from the Mythic uh, Nighthold set for Death Knights. The belt and the chest piece there both from the uh, the uh, Castle Nathria set for plate wearers. And the helmet there from Warlords of Draenor PvP. What weapon are you using? Let's find out. Oh, look at that. Wow, how amazing. The Death Knight fucking artifact weapon for blood. I would have never expected that. Let's be honest. This is a decent looking set for Death Knights, but I think I've seen it a little bit too many times. One thing that I do like about this is that the brown and your chest piece and also your belt and your boots to a lesser extent match the brown on your helmet. I like that a lot. Good job. Let's see your mount. This set could be good. It could be good. Wow. Bloodbath Frostbrew Vanquisher from Glory of the Ice Crown Raider Tin Man. I think this is the perfect mount. I am actually so impressed by you guys' mount decisions today. Like, these are fucking amazing. I, I, this is actually really, really fucking nice, guys. What do you think? Like, what, what, what do you think? I, I really, really think this looks good. Yeah, is this E or NA? See? That's how good this, this transmog comp is. People don't even know. Believe it or not, this is NA. Good job, dear boy. Great fucking job. This is an amazing set, and I really like it a lot. I'm proud of you. This is really, really well done. Dick. Dicks and Balls. The Chosen from the Guild Nine Mandit. I guess he must be number 10. So what do we have right here? We have obviously that helmet and also the leggings right there are both from the tier, uh, that's actually tier... Oh no. Oh no. He went with socks and sandals. It's one thing to use socks and sandals in real life. It's another to put them in your fucking transmog. Oh my god. Listen. The helmet and the, uh, and the legs, obviously. Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, from Tier 3 set, the shoulders right there from BRD. Or sorry, BRF, excuse me. And then the staff right there is from Warlords of Draenor. Actually, I believe that staff, never mind. Isn't that staff from either WAD or the Class Order Halls in Legion? I forgot which one. Overall, I think this set is okay. Mama, I made it on TV? Yeah. And after she sees the set, she's going to be looking for an abortion. Let's see your mount. So. I'm gonna be honest. Bro, he's like five. Damn, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> I love making bad jokes. Not in Texas? Well, she won't be able to do it here. Yeah, hopefully you live in Texas, man. Listen. I, uh... So bad? Oh, yeah, I, I can get even worse. All right. I think this set sucks dick. I think it sucks as much dick as your name does. Uh, I think your shitty Alakir cloak that you think you're clever for wearing, that everybody else uses, 
This is one of the worst sets I've seen. And you want to use the Tazavesh glider. Yes, roasted. Hashtag roasted. Damn, that's too bad, isn't it, man? Using socks and sandals for your trans mug. It's just not good enough. Let them know. I did. Better look next time. What the fuck? Luana the Deathstalker. With the Kel'Thuzad staff? Okay, I like that a lot. Alright. And then... Bro, like the helmet? Like... This is actually really cool. What the fuck? Like, I... You, you, wow. Uh, th that's the helmet right there from, uh, Tomb of Sargeras. I... I, I, I really like that. that it's, I think it's a Necro Lord belt as well. I'm not even 100% sure on that one. This is really, really fucking cool. Like, I, I think that honestly, this is so good because of the chess piece. And I don't mean it in that way. I mean it just actually because the chess piece completely ties this entire set together. And it looks way more primal and just fucking badass. I love it. This is amazing. Let's see the mount. Wow. Okay, okay. Actually, actually, no, thank God. Yeah, yeah, good thing you didn't go on that one first. Get on the first one. Get on the first one. You only get picked on the first one. There it is. This is fucking insane. He's trying to show off that he got the normal mode. That's the normal mode gold Dan mount. It's very hard to get. Luana, this is fucking amazing. I, I, I think this is really, really well done. Like, is anybody, yeah, like, you guys agree with this, right? Like, this is fucking badass. Yeah, 10 to 10 winner. Yeah, this is a big dick fucking set. Good job, Luana. Amazing. Let's see the next one. Mounts are on point today? They sure are. Good job, guys. Um... This is like a combination of Dr. Disrespect and Mario. I, 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 and I, I don't even know what to say about this. Yeah, it's, it's like in between Mario and Dr. Disrespect. Like, what the fuck is this supposed to be, man? It's from my guild. I know it's from my fucking guild. Using the shoulders there from, uh, what's that, uh, uh patch 9.1. The, the leggings there from the Vinthyr set. That's the, uh, I believe those, those, what the, and, and then the, the Hell Render? From the last boss in Ramparts and Burning Crusade with the tabard there. Oh my god. The tabard from Wormrest Accord in Wrath of the Lich King. What are you thinking, man? Alright. I don't know if I want to even ask this, but what mount? What mount? Astral Cloud Serpent? I thought he was going to go with the Astral Cloud Serpent because it was transparent. Alright, you got to flex a little bit that he did the mount. Alright, that's good enough. I, I think that the Astral Cloud Serpent would have actually been better, to be fair, right? It's a red mount. I, I think that this is... Uh, I'm going to be honest. This guy just got on this mount. It does look pretty good. Like, I don't know. Like, I guess the shoulders match it. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it or not? Good one, Baldy. Thanks. It's okay. Not really just flexing. I feel like it's a little bit of a flex, too. Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Okay, now everybody's got it except me. I see how it is. Rethan, this is pretty decent, man. Uh, I'll be honest. I've never seen a set like this before. Take that how you will. Let's see the next one. Yeabu. Yabu. The green druid. Peepo, hey? Hmm. Ah. Uh, I kind of like this because it's unique. I I'm going to be honest, guys. I kind of like this because it's unique. I have never seen anybody try to use this set before, and I think that's impressive. Yeah, it, it, it's actually pretty decent. What do you guys think? What are those? Those boots right there? Um, those boots are the, I think, replica boots that you're able to buy in Dark Moon Fair. 
Um, Felbor Hide Shoes. Actually, Felbor Hide Shoes were a quest reward from, uh, fucking Hellfire Peninsula in Burning Crusade. I, I believe, okay? They were a long, long fucking time ago, okay? Was it Shadow Moon Valley? Maybe it would have been. But I know that they're one or another. Because that's where the only place where Hellbores even are. Uh, Tabard, I believe, is the, uh, that's the, uh, fucking... That's the one from Caverns of Time. And then the weapon. I'm gonna be honest with this weapon. This weapon sucks big dicks and it makes zero sense with your set. You wanna use one of the brand new weapons from the new patch? Use a good one. All the rest of your pieces, I think, look decent. I see a lot of druids using this helmet as well. I haven't seen it very often recently, so it's okay. But, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? Scryer's Tabard? I always get those confused. You're right. It's okay. I actually think this is okay. I feel like this set could actually have real potential if you have a good mount for it. Go ahead. Show us. Not you, Ratban. Yibu, let's see the mount. Don't ruin this for yourself. There's a lot of pressure right now. So, here's the thing. In terms of color, I think this works really well. But whenever I think about your set, I'm thinking of it as like, no, in terms of color and design, it works really well. But I don't think that it works at all with the theme of your set. You're going with like a celestial sparkling druid of the moon. This is a fucking undead horse. They don't match. Yibu, decent set. I like that you thought outside the box. But sometimes it's okay to stay inside the box as well. Let's go to the next one. The backpack does match with it. Yes, I know that. Archmage Dracarys. Cosplaying Forsen. Dracarys has been in many of my groups. Ooh. Oh, the Tazavesh sword. The belt right there from... What is this belt here? Oh, this belt right here is the... Uh, that's the Antorus belt for Warlocks. This... Oh, my God. This offhand, I believe, comes from Brutalis in fucking Sunwell Plateau. The shoulders are from Necroward. Obviously, the back pieces as well. The tabard of the Wardens. And then the helmet right there from Dragon Soul. Okay. Uh, all right, the, the 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 back piece is bad. I I think that it's kind of bad too, to be honest. But it's bad because it's low res. It's not bad because it's got a bad theme. I think the theme for it is really good. What's the sword? Uh, there's a lot of different versions of these swords, but the sword is from Tazavesh. Uh, I don't know which boss drops it though, because like there's different like uh, colors and difficulties and shit like that. I'm not sure which one. I I really like this. I'm going to be honest, guys. It's from Xerath Mortis Rare? Oh, really? Okay. They, I didn't know they added more of them. Um, okay. That makes sense. What do you guys think? I, I feel like the colors on this are really good. Yeah, I haven't seen the new I haven't seen the new, <laughs> the new stuff yet. Uh, yeah, this is decent enough. All right, Dracarys. Let's see the mount. The Slime Serpent. Hmm. I I feel like the mount is okay. I don't think it's amazing. I really don't think that it's that amazing. I think that it's all right. It's decent. It's not great. It's not terrible. It just simply is what it is. It's a male muncher. Yes, it's effectively a male muncher. Uh, but I feel like it's just so low res compared to the rest of your armor that it just doesn't really fit that well. Like, do you guys feel the same way or what? Like, that. that's how I see it and that's how I'm looking at it right here. Yeah, it's just a little bit lower res. Decent enough. No, I don't like that one either, honestly. Uh, I think you should go with something that matches like the uh, the same vibe as your helmet and your uh, your weapon. I was thinking maybe the 400 mount achievement mount, but that wouldn't really fit that well. It's the closest match I can think of, though. Yeah, maybe that one. Maybe that one. That one does look pretty fucking badass. The green wolf? Oh, the one from uh, Gory of the Hellfire Raider. Yeah, that one's not really quite there either. Uh, there's a lot of them you gotta pick out. Like, I, I just, I feel like it's almost there, but the transmog set itself is fucking amazing. I really like this set a lot. Good job. Imperium. From the Guild Illicit. Alliance is greater than Horde. True. Imperium. I remember you. 
about six months ago, you did time walking dungeons with my paladin, didn't you? I thought so. Yes, I thought so. All right, let's look and see what he's got going on here. That's obviously the Corrupted Ash Springer. That's the Hidden Artifact Appearance for Red Paladins. The leggings and the boots there are from the, uh, that's from the, uh, what's the new set? Uh, actually, wait a second. Yes, those are both from the, uh, the Castle Nathria set from, uh, the patch, the, the patch 9.0. The belt right there is from, uh, BFA Dungeons. The boots are, sorry, the, the gloves, the belt and the boots are from BFA Dungeons. The tabard there is the Brawler's Guild tabard. The chest piece comes from... Is that the mythic version of the chess piece? That could be the mythic version. Boots are, are not from BFA? No, the boots and the legs and the chess piece are from Shadowlands. That's the Castle Nathria set. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, I know it's the Nathria set. I know. I don't know if it's mythic or not. E either way, it looks really, really good. And the shoulders there, obviously, Tomb of Sargeras. The helmet, obviously, heroic. Um, which boss does that drop from? Uh, Kel'Thuzad. And, of course, we're using again. This back piece. This is a slightly different back piece because it has a different middle image on there. The doors tabard, yes, I know. The brawl wait, I said brawler's gill, but I meant doors tabard. Yeah, of course I I, I meant that. It's the one in fucking Boral ass. Anyway. This is a decent looking set. I like it because you tried to do something different, you tried to do something unique. This is in between a corrupted paladin. I don't know. I don't know if McConnell is still here, if he would want to give insight into what a Corrupted Paladin should or should not look like. But I think this actually looks decent enough. I like it. Empyrean, get on your mount. Fallen Charger. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. <sighs> to be honest, the reason why I guess that mount is because it worked. Like, it's a perfect fit. Yeah, it, it, there's almost no other mount that you can go with for this. I kind of like this a lot. I don't know if it's really a S-tier, top-tier, amazing one. Yeah, the mount, by the way, yeah, the mount is from uh, it's from uh, the Maw. You just have to wait there. It doesn't emote whenever it spawns. There's also groups for it as well. The fourth person to use it, yeah, because they probably heard it was one of my favorite mounts, and they thought they'd be able to, you know, get me to give them a good placing because of it. I understand that. I get it. I, I, I know what you're doing. It's okay. Yeah, Empyrean. This is actually quite good. I like this. He looks like an Apocalypse Rider. I actually like the fact that he looks like an Apocalypse Rider, but he's gold. Rather than, like, all dark and black, you know? I think that's fucking badass, man. I like this a lot, Empyrean. Good job. I don't know if it's going to give you a placing, but it looks good, and I like the idea behind it. Soulless EDM from the Guild Hero Academia. Uh, let's see. All right, we've got the chess piece right there. Um, the chest piece, the leggings, and also the gloves right there are the Void Elf Heritage Armor. The shoulders and the belt right there are the Nighthold Mythic Set for uh, Warlocks. And then also the the back piece there, and uh, not back piece, sorry, the weapon, uh, is the uh, Ebon Chill effect that comes from the Challenge Mode, the Mage Tower, from, uh, from Legion. This is a decent set, okay? Let's be honest. However, I've seen a lot of these. How many of these skimpy Void Elf sets have we seen? Probably too many. Let's be honest. Probably too fucking many. Chess piece could prop it if WoW had a slider. Yes. This is why WoW, this is why WoW needs a boob slider. This is exactly why. Let's see your mount. That's really good. That is honestly really fucking good. Like, straight up, that is amazing. I, I like this a lot. What do you guys think? Like, this is actually, like, to be honest, I thought the set was, like, a 6 of 10, right? Like, this mount takes it up to at least an 8. Like, th this mount completely recovers the set. The fact that she's giving, she's literally giving, she's got how many blue balls around her? I, I mean, she might as well just start her own OnlyFans already. This is amazing. Really good job. I like it a lot. Yeah, purple? Yeah, it's blue, purple, whatever you want to call it, okay? Purple wouldn't make sense in the joke, okay? So, I like this a lot. Really, really good job. Well played. Well put together. Archmage's Prismatic Disc. I thought it was. I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't the Tazavesh one. But yeah, this is really, really nice. Good job. 
Sorry about that. I know I lost, but I wanted a chance at redemption. I goofed up. Does your mom know that you're doing this? Get off that mount. Does your mom know that you're looking for attention in my trans small comp right now? Does she know this? No? Good. Don't ever tell her. Don't ever let her know that you did this. Don't tell anybody about this. Eleanor the Undying. This is a very interesting set. Holy shit. This is a very interesting set. Uh, so that's the, that, is that the vent? That's the court of the Harvester's Tabard. Those shoulders right there, I believe, come from the, uh, Sanctum of Domination raid. The gloves are from Old Deer. This weapon is just a green weapon. Like, uh, the, the, these items are just like greens, but they're so good. This is incredible. This is like a, a Priestess of the Sands. I love this. This is so well designed. Yeah, it looks like a boss. Yeah, Eleanor the Undying. Yeah, it does sound like a, an Elden Ring boss. It does. I like it a lot. Good job, Eleanor. Eleanor's been in a lot of competitions before. There's no way. The Class Order Hall mount for Warlocks. I kind of like this. I do. Now, the mount itself, I'm going to be honest. There's a part of me that doesn't like the mount that much. But I think that it's okay. Still really good. Yeah, I feel like the transmog by itself is better than the mount. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's like 10 of 10 without the mount. With the mount, it's 9 of 10. Yeah, I agree. It's like I, would, I was thinking like maybe he was going to get on like the Legion pre-order mount. I'm not sure. But I really like this a lot because you have the Fell Hunter out. I like this set a lot though. I really think this is one of the best well put together sets. It's extremely clean, but also elegant at the same time. I like this a lot. Great job, Eleanor. Transmog is simple. It doesn't fit. Yeah, the mount is very extravagant. Tom, Tom, Tom. Do you remember this set? Why are you not in the guild? You used to be in the guild. So Tom, Tom, Bomb was... You did Nighthold with me, didn't you? Was that right? On my, uh, my Warlock five years ago? Yes. I remember you. This is a decent set. It, it is. Uh, we played, uh, played a long time ago. Yes, five years ago. Isn't that scary? <laughs> it's fucking... It's been five years since Nighthold? Oh my god, man. Five fucking years since Nighthold. What the fuck, man? Oh, it's so scary and so sad. Actually, remember this? Yes. I remember us wiping on fucking Spellblade and Duriel. Oh, God. It was so awful. All right. So what does he got going on here? Obviously, these uh, shoulders and uh, the legs and the boots right there. Uh, these are all the first Mythic set. Actually, I think based off of the coloration, isn't this the PvP version of the first season of, uh, of Legion? Uh, uh, no, it's not, actually. Okay, this actually is the Nighthold set. I don't remember it very well. It's been quite a while. And, uh, all right, these are decent enough. And, obviously, the helmet right there comes from, uh, uh, ICC. That's the Rogue set. I used to have that on my Rogue. And then the chest piece there, I think, is very interesting. I think that's a Druid chest piece, too. Uh, I like this. I, I think it's actually pretty good. What do you guys think? Are mounts considered for placing? Yes, they are. Yes, mounts are considered for placing. I think it's pretty good. I like it. I like the colors. If the helmet was purple, it would be even better. Wow. I thought you were going to get on the demon, the demon hunter mount. Oh. The Falcosaur. The Sharp Town, whatever the fuck it is. The Falcosaur rep. I kind of like this. Like, what do you guys think? Uh, the mount's not great. I think it's okay. And now it's a little bit weird, right? This guy came straight out of Legion. But I kind of like this. It's a new mount. We've never seen this mount. Nobody has had the audacity to ever use this mount. And I'm impressed by that. It's nice. It's not amazing. It's probably not going to win, Tom. Let's be honest, bro. But it's decent. Good job. And our carrier is from the Guild Liberation. Also known as Shredder. Okay. This is an interesting set. Um, we've seen this before. So the boots and obviously the shoulders and the helmet there all come from the Dark Shore uh, uh, Warfront. Uh, the swords right there, I think, do actually come from Taz of Esh. It's from the first boss. And the uh, the chest piece and the legs come from, I believe, somewhere in the Dark Moon Fair. It's a uh, vanilla WoW item. This is decent enough. 
What do you guys think? Is it Shrek? No, it's not Shrek. Why the fuck would you think that it's Shrek? I like this a lot. Yeah, this is really, really nice, guys. I, I really, really like this set a lot. Our purple set, we hardly ever have really good purple sets. Purple sets are extremely hard to find. Question, yes, what? Which weapons look better? That one does. I actually think that one does. Even though it is super fucking... It, it, it's super fucking low res. I actually think the spear looks better. It looks so cool. Is that... Yeah, the, the spear right there comes from... Uh, actually, this raid. This exact raid right here. It's an AQ-40 spear. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, the spear is better. The spear matches the colors really well. And I always get impressed whenever people... Yeah, it comes from... Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, it looks really good. It looks like a Persian warrior. Yeah, something like that. I really like this a lot, man. It's fucking badass. Is this a vendor spear? No, I, I forgot which boss it comes from. Is it Fancris that drops the spear? Uh, I don't remember. It, it's been such a long time. Barb of the Sand Reaver. Um, yeah, is it, is it Fancris or not? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, it's been, I don't know, 15 fucking years. So, yeah. Uh, it looks really, really nice. I like it a lot. Karaji Mel? Ooh. Oh, the Vicious Alliance Saber. This is the second mount they ever added. Uh, okay, okay, you know what? This is really nice because you've got the shoulders and the helmet and the boots right there, right? And all of those are like Alliance-themed items. Then you have the fucking mount. That is really good. These mounts and this mount off have been fucking flawless, guys. I am so proud of you. Arcanos, really, really, really fucking good job, man. I love this. Nice job, man. Yeah, really, really nice job. This is amazing. Good job. I'm proud of you. Do you do remember you do you remember me? From what? Fifteen plus mists of tear and aside. You're a monk, I'm pretty sure. That's all I remember. That I remember yes, I remember that you were a monk. I think that you're a monk, am I right? Yes, okay, I got that one right. That's about all I can remember. To be honest with you, every time I do a Mythic Plus, I try my best to forget that it ever happened. I'm gonna be honest. Every time I do one, I try my best to forget that it ever fucking happened. Cow Shiver, the tower. Fuck you, bitch. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, look at all this. So we got obviously, all right, let's see what we got going on here. So this is only three pieces from the set. I'm really, I like this a lot. So that weapon right there is Zoid's Firelit Greatsword, which is a random drop from any of the bosses in Firelands. It's purple, which means it's the one from Heroic. The tabard is the TCG tabard. The leggings there are actually the leggings that come from the dungeon that was added in patch uh, 7.1 based on their coloration. That's the one from Broken Shore. The, uh, w the shoulders, the gloves, and also the uh, boots there are obviously the Sanctum of Domination set. And then the chest piece comes from the same exact place. Uh, I kind of like this. The Cathedral of Eternal Darkness, or whatever the fuck it was called. I hated that goddamn place. Remember whenever I tried to do it on plus 10? I spent two hours there? It was a cock ass. And then, of course, the helmet is from, uh, is from uh, Opulence. From Opulence in Battle of the Czar Lore. The Tabard, by the way. I cannot fully see it, but I know what it is. That Tabard, based off of its coloration is the LFR version of the Old Deer Tavern that I believe that version of it also dropped from World Bosses. Yes. Yes. Plasma Splattered Great Cloak. Plasma Splattered Great Cloak came from Vectus. It came from Vectus in uh, Old Deer, I believe. I like this. I don't want to ruin it with a mount, but I have two things to say. All right? No, it's number one. One. You'll never beat all eight layers as a warrior. For seven to five, I had to be proc. What about number eight? I ate. I had to go to my item level 230 hunter. Oh, fuck. I'm a 270 warrior with a four set bonus. Well, I guess I've got to get 275 then. 
That's fine. I'll just get 275. Number two. All right. I got Tusk recently, and I made a mog that I want to show you. Okay. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I like this. So, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, those are obviously Tusk and Manoroth. That belt right there is actually a green item that drops in Cataclysm. And uh, those leggings here are bought from the vendor in Mogushin. Actually, it's not the vendor in Mogushin Vaults. It was the Valor vendor in Mists of Pandaria. And an off-colored version drops from Mogushin Vaults. The boots and also the gloves there, of course, drop from Sanctum of Domination. And that tabard, I believe, is the brand new tabard from being exalted with the Enlightened, isn't it? Right? Holy fuck, are you kidding me? Yes, it is. Oh, my God. God fucking damn. I'm impressed, man. This is really nice. And then, obviously, the weapon right there is, um, uh, because it's brown, that means it is the mythic version of the sword that drops from High Imperator Margok in High Mall. There it is. It's that easy. It's that fucking easy, boys. The other one is better. I think that it is, too. I use this title so people feel bad that I did all of Torghast. That's smart. I like that. You want to make people feel like shit. Two entries? No, it's okay. He's using, he's, only, he's only getting his first entry. All right. Good job. I like it a lot. And because his first entry was so good, uh, I will allow that to happen. Blood champion fail you. Well, you certainly have. What the fuck is wrong with you? Runeblade of Baron Riven there? What the fuck is this bullshit enchant on your weapon? You're using the Night Fae enchant on your weapon so it can go through the hilt? You're using the belt right there from Castle Nathria with the chest piece? The shoulders, the gloves, and the legs there? All from Primal Gladiator set for Paladins? And this pathetic excuse for a pair of boots? What the fuck is wrong with you? Mount? He said he didn't want to use his mount. Yeah, he didn't said he didn't have a mount. This is one of the most pathetic sets I've ever seen in my entire life. I what what boots are these again? Greaves of the Traitor. I don't even remember where the fuck those came from. Get on your mount. Wrath of the Lich King Blue. Wow. Get off. Get off it. Get off of Deathly. Why did you do this? Why did you do this to me? I like it. Well, guess what? Your preferences are wrong. You like it too? Well, you're banned. This is awful. You need to fix your boots. If you fix your boots, your set will be okay. I, I, I will say I went next to this person so that my mog looked even better. <laughs> Smart. It's pretty fucking smart. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> let, let's be honest. I mean, it is what it is. Fix your fucking boots, man. Fix your fucking boots and your set's gonna be pretty decent, okay? And, and get a new weapon. The weapon sucks, too. Fire Lord the Bulge from the Guild Exodus. Forged by the Eternal Flames and the power of dance. Me. Um, I, I, I actually don't know what to say. I'm going to be totally honest, guys. I, I, I am speechless. Uh, well, we're looking at the same items that we saw before, obviously. Uh, the shoulders, uh, obviously from the, uh, fucking Fireland set. And then, of course, obviously the other one is from the, uh, Island Expedition. Uh, the weapon there is, uh, again, from, I don't know who the fuck thought it was a good idea to use this shitty fucking lava lamp weapon. I have no idea. But two people now have used it in this competition. This belt right here, I believe, is a PvP belt. Tyrannical Gladiators, I was right. It's for compensation? Yes, I can see that. Do you have a mount? This transmog set is just disgusting. Do you have a mount? Of course you do. I feel like this set is probably one of the worst sets that 
that I've ever seen. Like, I, I think this is this is one of the worst sets that I've ever seen in my entire life. Winner? No. No, this is not a winner set. Random mount? No, he's using the Raven Ward. I don't like it that much. It's okay, but it's not amazing. All right? It's certainly not amazing. What about the one before? That's the worst set until I saw this set. And now this is the worst set. Obviously. Let's look at the next one. To hit you, the Chosen. You can... I thought so. I... I kind of like it. I feel like... There's something about it that I don't like. But I feel like the chess piece is fucking badass. The helmet is really, really cool. I feel like the weapons are a little bit odd. But... I mean, everybody else really likes this a lot. And he plays a rogue, so his title is accurate. Let's see the mount. Let's see the mount. Oh man, like I, oh man. Like that actually looks pretty good. Like this looks pretty fucking good. This is a badass mount. Uh, this mount also comes from the Dark Shore. Uh, I, I believe this mount is uh, what, what's, what's it called again? Uh, Umber Nightshaber. Uh, yeah, that one's from the Dark Shore Rares in, in 9.1 or 8.1, I mean. Uh, it, it's pretty decent, man. Now, I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Beastmaster? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's a BFA mount, exactly. Weapons suck. I think the weapons are a little bit odd, but they're kind of like, uh, they're, they're like, a you know, flesh render weapons. It's kind of badass. I like it a lot. Good job, Two Hit You. I'm proud of you. Weapons gone. This is a 9 of 10. I think this is a really badass set. I feel like the chess piece is the baddest, the, the most badass part of it. Farseer Lambrina. Remember me. Farseer Lambrina. I do not. Where do I remember you from? Where do I remember you from? Uh, Drayden with the fifth. Holy shit. 50 gifted community subs. God damn. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. God damn. Thank you so much. I was in your after show two times. I, how the fuck would I know that? I don't know what people's names are. I just know their voice. Now that I think about it, you were actually a girl, weren't you? That yes, that's what I thought. So okay, yeah, um, yeah. That, all right. Now, now I, I I vaguely remember this same name. Yeah, that's that's how I, I I remember that a little bit. Yeah, I had not thought of that before. Yeah, it's a real girl, exactly. L let's look at the set, okay? I feel like, obviously, this is a decent-looking set. I believe these shoulders right here are from uh, Hellfire Citadel. I could be wrong about that, though. The shield, they're obviously from Draenor. That's a Draenor dungeon shield. The weapon, who gives a fuck about where this is from? But I think it's actually one of the Vinthyr weapons you're able to get. And uh, I think that's actually a specific one that comes from Inverport, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, overall, I think this set looks pretty decent, okay, guys? Uh, I don't think it's amazing. It's not incredible. But it's a decent Tanan jungle survivalist Beastmaster set. Let's see your mount, Lambria. The War Song Dire Fang. All right. Okay, that's actually a pretty decent mount. This is a very rare mount, by the way. Not really very rare, but it used to be very rare. Uh, it came from one of the four rares in Tanan Jungle, and it can drop a bag that has a chance to have this mount in it. That's actually pretty badass. I like this a lot. Yeah, good job. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? I think this looks pretty fucking good, guys. I like it a lot. Now, it would have been better with the previous one? Yeah, I think maybe so. But I like this one a lot. This is really well put together, and uh, I'm proud of you. Yay? That's right. Good job, Lambry. I'm proud of you. Oh. Oh. This is an interesting idea. Oh, my God. Oh my god, bro. Like, this guy is straight out the wild hunt. He's, like, it, this is... This guy came from the patch that Blizzard didn't put out about Thros. You know how we were supposed to go to, like, Thros and it was, like, uh... You know, foreshadowed in all of the quest lines in Drusfar, and then it just, like, never happened? Yeah. This guy's from that patch. So let's look at what he's got going on here, okay? 
The chest piece legs and boots right there are from the heroic version of the Trial of Valor set that came... Actually, it was the Trial of Valor mythic set, right? Or not mythic set, a plate set, I mean to say. What's the difference? Uh, gloves and boots right there, or sorry, gloves and belt right there are, of course, the Sanctum of Domination set. Shoulders there are just the 9.1 shoulders. There's 15 different versions of them. And that helmet right there, I think, is from the first boss of Mr. Tyr and a Scythe on Mythic. The weapon is just a random assorted green weapon. It's uh, just a... a uh, I think it's from, like, I, there's, like, 50 of these fucking swords, okay? You can buy this one on the auction house. Uh, I like it. I, I think this actually looks really fucking cool. This is a really interesting idea, and I've never seen somebody use... I've never seen somebody use this theme before. I am very impressed by that. I have never seen somebody use this theme before. Let's see the mount. It's a little scuffed, though. I like it. I actually like it. This is the moose that comes from uh, Island Expeditions. Uh, I think that it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think this is decent enough. Uh, is it amazing? No, it's certainly not amazing, but I think that it's decent, okay? Uh, moose ruins it? I actually don't think the moose is that bad. I think it's a theme transmog, and a theme is decent enough. It's fucking trash? It is not fucking trash, okay? It is not maybe fucking amazing, but it's not fucking trash. Good try. I'm glad that you tried to do a new idea, even though Chad hates new ideas, and they want to make people feel bad about them. Good job, Reefy. I'm proud of you, even though they're not. The Unrelenting Malachi. What the fuck are you cosplaying? Like, what, what, what is this supposed to be? What is this, Aleister Crowley? The fuck is this? Mini Kratos? Vampire Leprechaun? What a cock. Red Demon Slayer guy? Okay. Helmet right there. That's a tier 6 helmet for rogues. Those gloves right there come from, I believe, those gloves are from ZA. The boots are from Old Deer. The weapons? Where are these fucking weapons from? I actually don't know where these weapons are from. I've never seen these weapons before. They're fucking daggers, so I don't really care that much. Let me see this one right here. Shadowrun Talonblade. Shadowrun Talonblade drops from... Uh, it's from Hellfire Citadel, and I think it drops from the Bird Boss. Am I right about that? I don't even fucking remember. Iskar? Yeah, Shadow Ward Iskar. Yep, there we go. Uh, I, it's been quite a while. I'm gonna be honest, guys. It's decent enough, but it's not amazing. Let's see the mount. Medici, let me see the mount. The Legion Collector's Edition mount. I... I mean, it's actually pretty good. Like, all things considered, this is a decent... This is a decent amount. Storm mount? No. Uh, I let people use uh, storm mounts for their transmog sets. I've always allowed this. Um, yeah, this is really, really good. I've never seen somebody use this mount. I th Actually, I thought that uh, Eleanor was going to use it there, but they ended up not doing it. This is really good. He blends right there into the mount itself, and I think that's fucking amazing, man. I like it a lot. Yeah, it looks like the orc and the hobbit. Like, no, he doesn't. Azog the Defiler? He doesn't look like Azog at all. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you crazy? He does? No, he doesn't. Yeah, it looks like Miss Kiff. Okay, all right. I guess he is pretty short. But anyway, Medici, let, let's let's be honest. I think this is nice. I like it a lot. Good job, man. Great job. Stormlux, Vengeance Incarnate from the guild Killers in the Mists. Remember me. From what? Your shoulders are two different sets. Mount off? No, I don't remember you. No, I, ki I kicked you out so fast. I kicked you out so fast, I, I didn't even remember you. I'm sorry to say. It's the way she goes. What mount did you lose to? Wow. It seems like this month you put as much effort into collecting mounts as you put into your transmog scent. I don't know what you were thinking by combining the vicious gladiator's shoulders with the tyrannical gladiator's shoulders. I have no idea why you decided to do that. This entire set looks ridiculous to me. 
Like this is this is this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I have no idea what you're trying to do. That weapon right there, that's the witch hunter's harvester, I believe. I've seen this too many fucking times. I believe it actually it's either that or it's a blacksmithing weapon. Storm Lux. <laughs> Let's see the mount. Uh, Corrupted Firehawk from Gory of the Firelands Raider. Okay. Um, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think this one sucks dick. I really do. I think this one absolutely sucks big dick. Purple equals win? No. No, but red didn't equal win, did it either? That's too bad. You need to go farm this raid yourself. Ray Skywalker, servant of the Zoth from the Guild D-Dust. He and I have done RBGs together multiple times. Oh, Asmon, thanks for saving me from the Zoth. What is this? Ray? I'm going to be honest. This is one of the worst for the reward. I'll show you my true form. Okay. Go ahead. Let's see it. Thank you so much. I was so worried that's what you were gonna do. Oh my god, it was the, that was the worst set I'd ever seen in my entire life. Thank god. Thank fucking god, man. I was so worried. You know what? Um, this is actually kind of good. Yep, uh, I think this is a great set, guys. Uh, it, it's it's really good. Um, uh, basically, we've got the uh, the Kyrian, uh, the shoulders there. Uh, you've got obviously, yeah. What is this here? It's a role play. Yeah, it's the Nineveh set from uh, uh, from Lost Ark. I like it. It's good, man. Real time production value. Yeah, that's really really nice. And uh, that weapon right there, I like the weapon too. The tabard there of the Explorer, the helmet as well. I think that helmet's from BRD. And uh, overall, I think this looks great, guys. What do you think? The belt there, I think, comes from Tomb of Sargeras. I'm not 100% sure on that one, though. This is really nice, guys. This is great. Yeah, this is, this is, sometimes less is more. I can see that. Oops, and his ostrich mind controlled me. What's your fucking mount? What's your fucking mount? I'm from Tatooine. Okay, Ray Skywalker from Tatooine. All right, all right. That kind of makes sense. It, it's obviously fucking... It, it, it doesn't match at all with your transmog set. Like, you literally have angel wings, and you're riding a mount that's made out of fucking metal. This thing comes from Mythic... Uh, or not Mythic, the hard mode Mechagon. It, it's decent enough, but I don't know if it's really going to be a winner or not. Uh, I think this is a pretty good improvement, though. I would definitely say that for sure. Let's look at the next one. Good job. Ty Jess. Is that the Elite Primal Gladiator's belt for hunters? Prideful, that's what I meant to say. Holy fuck. Yo, I haven't seen that in a long time. That's that's rare. Holy shit. Uh, he loves the set. Yeah, this is actually pretty nice. Now, I'm going to be honest, guys. I think that it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit busy. And obviously using, I think that's a PvP tabard as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. Firelands Andy, boring. The weapon, of course, comes from, uh, that's the uh, Great Sword of the Inferno, which comes from um, uh, Gold Mode, Challenge Modes, and Warlords of Draenor. The shoulders there come from uh, t uh, Throne of Thunder. And uh, the gloves here, where are the gloves from? Uh, the gloves are from, I actually don't fucking remember, but I think it's BRF. All right. Actually, I think it's not BRF. Uh, let, let's see the, uh, let's see the mount. Female Berserker? Yeah, it actually is kind of like that. You're right. I like that. That's pretty good. Like, honestly, guys, I feel like a lot of these mounts are really nice. 
But what do you guys think? Like, these mounts are really, really well done. This mount comes from 5,000 Time Warped Badges and the Miss, oh, sorry, the Warlords of Draenor Time Walking event. This is a really, really great choice for mounts, and I think that it looks fucking amazing. Yeah, this is like the female Berserker from Lost Ark. That's really, really well done. Helmet is dog shit, though? No, I don't think it's really dog shit. I, I, it's not amazing. It's kind of basic, but I don't think that it's dog shit. It's decent enough. I like it. Good job, Tejos. Great job. Pally Chu, the Fabulous, from the guild No Discipline. Now, here's what the problem is. The problem is that they don't make armor sets like this in the game anymore. That's the problem. And uh, it used to be a lot different, guys. It used to be a whole lot different. And uh, unfortunately, you know, things happened, times change, and it didn't necessarily work out anymore. But um, overall, what do we have here? This is just a vanilla WoW uh, chest piece and uh, leggings there, obviously body paint chest piece, as well as the leggings. And the rest of the, the pieces are all from the uh, mythic set from Tomb of Sargeras for Paladins. Uh, let's see your weapons. And then the back piece is from, uh, obviously, what's it called? Uh, the weapon is the, uh, that's the Legion Artifact, right? It's a Legion Artifact weapon. Let's see it. Yes. I can tell that it's a Legion Artifact weapon because of the, uh, the belt. The belt goes with the weapon. I can see this. It's decent enough. Ty just said Cosmic Gladiator Tavern. Was that it? Oh, I, yeah, I knew it was one of the new Gladiator Trappers. I didn't know it was that one. Um, yeah, I, I think this is... Hmm. I mean, all right, so it's the Class Order Hall. Uh, that's the Paladin Class Order Hall mount. I think this is decent, right? It's just the truth is, here's the way I feel about a lot of these, like, older sets. Is that we're probably never going to get a chess piece like that again. Let's be honest, it's probably not going to happen for at least a couple more years. Same with the legs. I think it's decent. It looks pretty good. Is it amazing? Is it incredible? I don't know. What are you, you faction changing? Okay. All right, so she just went emo. All right, I get that. Makes sense. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, I... You know what? To be fair, like, both of these sets do look really good. I mean, all things considered, they do look decent enough. What do you guys think? Yeah, winner? I think it's okay, right? It, it's it's actually better? Yeah, I, I don't know which one is better, but I think they're both pretty good. Yeah, overall, I'm impressed by this. Good job, Palichu. Let's go to the next one. Is that one's better? What did you say? Yeah, okay. Low Life XO. Delver of the Vaults. Again, another pvp -er. Again, you can tell if they're PvPers, if they are playing Blood Elves or Human Females and using a TCG tabard with a stupid name. Now, uh, I actually don't think this one's that bad. I, I, I really don't. I don't think this one's that bad at all. Like, is it is it bad? Like, do you guys not like it? I feel like a lot of people don't like it a whole lot at all. Yeah, worst one yet? Is it really the worst one? I don't know if it's the worst one, guys. The legs are bad. I mean, the legs are pretty low res, okay? Like, this is something that looks like it came out of, like, a ladder or something like that. It's decent enough, but let's see. If they have a good mount, I will admit that it's actually not that bad, okay? Let's see the mount, low life. Go on ahead. You can do it. Let's see the mount. Uh, oh, fuck. Wow, the Mists of Pandaria, Ashen Phoenix. Now you know for a fact they're a PvPer because they're holding on to PvE accomplishments that they did 10 years ago. By the way, guys, I am mostly a PvPer now as well. I thought he was going to get on the uh, Flame Town. I'm going to be honest, I really did. I thought we were going to do the Flame Town, and I thought that was what was going to happen for sure. Bro, kick this bitch off. It's not that bad, okay, guys? It's not that bad. 
just show butt to win. Listen, if it was that easy, um, uh, a lot of other ones would have won already, okay? Let's say that. Good try, low life. Better luck next time. Wyvern Lull. Vengeance Incarnate from the Guild Indestructible. Another person from my guild. Let's see it. I cannot express how fucking terrible this is. And I want to explain why it's terrible. It's terrible because of the shoulders and... It's terrible because of the shoulders and the tabard. And why is it terrible because of the shoulders and the tabard? Number one, they don't fit together at all. Number two, they are the most boring, bland, and repetitive warlock set that I've ever fucking seen. I have seen so many Goldan shoulder sets, and every single one has been exactly the same. Move up a little bit, and let's see the mount. That's better. That's better. That's better. That's better. It's okay, guys. We're fine. It went too far. No, this is a mount that I have. It's all right. Uh, the mount doesn't match at all. This is a terrible fucking set. Let's go, let's go to the next one. Dat Crit Cray. Champion of the Frozen Waste. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. This guy has been coming into my transmog comps, and he has won them multiple times for the last five years. You guys stop getting in the frame. Just stop it. Okay, obviously those shoulders right there, I'm very impressed to see these shoulders. Why am I so impressed to see them? It's because those shoulders are the tier 9 cloth shoulders from the Alliance version of Trial of the Crusader. Those, the, obviously the axe right there, or the scythe, is the uh, scythe of Frost War to Hoon. That helmet right there, I believe, is the Relentless or one of the Gladiator helmets from Wrath of the Lich King. Titan Forge Helmet of Salvation, which is just a recolor of the uh, of the same thing, right? I think it's the Relentless Helmet of uh, of uh, the fucking of the priest set, right? Whatever the fuck it is, right? And uh, let's see. Besides, I think she's a mage. Yeah, he's a mage, but it's a priest version. And uh, they have, let's see the uh, the chest piece here, the leggings here are. Uh, I think these are from Old War. And uh, the boots there, these are green or blue item boots that came from Legion Questing. I in general really like this set a lot. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? I think these are pretty interesting. I, I like it. Four out of ten, no distinct theme. I think that it's good. I, I feel like it's not amazing. It's not his best work, let's be honest. However, a mount could actually take this set to the next level. Let me see how it looks. Wow, it's a moonkin. Wow, that's amazing. It's a moon boy. I feel like a lot of these really, really big mounts almost never work that well. Obviously, going all in on the Frost Mage aesthetic, I like that in a lot of ways, but I just don't necessarily think that it's amazing. That's the truth. I, I esteem as champion of the Frozen Waste. Yes, it certainly fucking is, but uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the best version of it. It's okay. It matches, though. It does match. It's pretty decent, okay? It is pretty decent. I don't think it's amazing, but it's pretty decent. Good job. Slayer Errol Ass from the guild. Wish I could get glad. Hmm. As far as edgy demon hunter transmogs go, I actually like this one. But here's a question. 
Is this too much of a full set, considering every single piece of gear, except actually, to be fair, the shoulders are, I believe, the original Tier 6 shoulders, whereas the rest of the pieces are the Tier 6 remake items from uh, Tomb of Sargeras. And the helmet there, of course, is the helmet that comes from, uh, you know, it's just the recolored fucking Shadowcraft helmet. So it's not really that incredible. I feel like almost everything here is completely one set. Is this a full set or not? It's the Blood Fang? Yes, it's Blood Fang. That's what I meant to say. Alright. Let's see the mount. Oh. Wow. Wow. Okay, you know what? Actually, I like this one a lot. Yeah, what do you guys think? Nice? Yeah, this is really, really good. Yeah, the mount matches incredibly well. Uh, I feel like almost every single... If I, if I read your fucking name again... Oh, wait, no, you're somebody else. I thought you were... No, no, you're okay. You've only fucked me around two or three times. You haven't been that annoying. Okay, Alaris, I actually really like this. Uh, it's an edgy Demon Hunter transmog, and I haven't seen this version too many times before. However, I do think that it is still a little bit too much of a full set. That's my overall opinion. A little bit too much of a full set, okay, guys? Sorry to say. Let's look at the other ones. Skate John, famed conqueror of the Tsar lore. With the Whirlwind Axe. A young Asmongold that never got the Whirlwind Axe. This guy has played the game for many, many years. Oh, wow! His name is WoW Tokens. It's the golden pig that you're able to get from Recruit a Friend now. Okay, you know what? I'm impressed. And, and that's pretty decent. Obviously, the belt right there comes from 9.1, or sorry, 8.1, or sorry, 7.1. And uh, the leggings there come from Sunwell. It's removed from the game, too. Is it? I thought you could still get it. Yeah, I actually thought you could still get this. Showing pet journal. Golden pig. Wait, you can't get it anymore? Oh, my God. I didn't know that. I thought you could still get it. I thought they added it back into the game. Holy fuck. All right, Skate John has beaten me in a mount off before. This guy is extremely serious at the game. I believe he has more achievement points than I do, too. He does. This guy plays the game a lot. Skate John. Let's see the mount. Don't mind my chastity belt. It's okay. Okay, okay, just showing off because he killed Heroic Jailer. Yeah, I see how it is. Yeah, okay, guys, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, real fucking funny, okay, dude? Amazing. I like it, it's OG. It's a decent set, right? I think it's okay at least. All right, uh, and let's see, two options. All right, what's the second option? Tabard's better? Which Tabard even is this? I don't even know what Tabard this fucking is. This is a new one, isn't it? Lightforge Tabard. Oh, it's the Lightforge Drain Eye. Wait, how the fuck? Oh, you race changed. Holy fuck. I haven't seen that Tabard in forever. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't even know that. And then obviously we have the Time Lost Proto Drake. Let's be real, guys. This set is uh, pretty basic, but he's doing it to flex and show off. I'm going to let you guys uh, in on a little bit of a secret. I never got my Whirlwind Axe back in Original Classic or Burning Crusade. And the reason for that is that, you know the little list that he gives you to pick up all the items? Yeah. I threw that away. So I could never figure out what to do. Yep, I never figured it out. I never got it. Uh, yep, I, I threw it away. I'm like, oh, is this bullshit? I figured it out on my own. It's fine. And then it never fucking happened. Whirlwind Dax is your classic sword? Yeah, I never used it. Let's look at the next one. Tessamunde Jenkins. From the guild? Okay. Land of Stench. I really, really, really like this set. I think this set is fucking amazing because of the weapons. So those weapons are the new uh, the new swords, and he's using Sinful Enchant on them, which was the enchant that you got from the beginning of Shadowlands whenever you got the, uh, I think it's like 2.1k or something like that. Obviously, those shoulders right there are the Demon Hunter set that comes from, uh, I think that Demon Hunter set comes from uh, Legion. And then the tabard there is the, uh, I have all five of these swords. Holy fuck. 
Uh, and then the tabard there, of course, is the tabard of the uh, Army of the Light that comes from patch 7.3. The, the the helmet there comes from, I believe that's a Mr. Pandaria monk set. And then the boots there are the 25-man Naxxramas Rogue Valorous, uh, 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 Valorous Bone Scythe boots, boots as well. I, I like that. It looks decent. Yeah, two weeks. God fucking damn. All right. This is a really, really, really cool set. Please, please get on a good mount. Is that not the Maldraxxus Covenant enchant? Is it? It is. Oh my god. It is. I, I see because it's, it's green. I've never seen that before. I just assumed it was sinful. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, you John No, I I think that the uh I think the the little um whatever the fuck that is, little disc, this is the disc it comes from Mr. Pandaria for getting exalted with the war walkers, I believe. I like it. I think that it looks decent. Does it fit very well? I don't know if it fits very well, but I think that it fits pretty well. Good job. Tamune. I actually really, really, really like those weapons. I think the transmog set itself is fucking insane. It is really great. Last time I came in here, you told me to make a few changes, and change I did. Yes. You've changed from one basic warrior set to another. Let's look at what he's got going on here. This is a combination of three different sets. The shoulders, the belt, are, and also the leggings, I believe, are all from the Nylotha Warrior set. The chest piece and the gloves there are from the Warrior set from Legion, from Nighthold. The helmet is from the DK set from Nighthold, and the boots there are from ICC Tin Man. Heroic, I believe. Coming from the second boss, I believe. I could be wrong about that. And the weapons are, of course, the artifact weapons. What do you guys think? I mean, this is a very, uh... I, I feel like this is a good set. I, I, I do. Like, I used to use the helmet and chest piece as well. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I, I kind of do. Like, I mean, I've seen Bash Cutter with this type of set so many fucking times, it kind of annoys me to see it. But he did change it from his original set that he was using with the helmet from uh, the DK Mythic High Mall set. So I like that. Let's see the, uh, let's see the mount. Void Talon? Ooh. Ooh. What do you guys think about this? I think this is pretty nice, guys. I really do. I think this is pretty fucking nice. Yeah, it looks good. Absolutely. I like it a lot. Good job, Bash Cutter. I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, really, really good job. Nice. Now, let's look at the other one here. Blocky. From the guild. Indestructible. The shield. From uh, Hellfire Citadel. Mythic. Shoulders right there. From, uh, where were those fucking shoulders from? Those shoulders are from Legion. I think that's a Hunter set or a, 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 a Warlock set. The helmet there from Antorus. I like that set a lot. The chest piece also from, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Hellfire Citadel. And the weapon is also from Hellfire Citadel. This is a lot of Hellfire Citadel gear. However, it's not enough for it to be a full set. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Blocky set looks fucking insane. Yeah, what do you guys think? Shaman Nighthold set? Was it Nighthold? I didn't know if it was Nighthold or not. I like this a lot. Alright. Let's see the mount. Green Talbot from Makari. Oh. Okay. Alright. Okay, guys. That is really fucking good. This is the uh, the mount you're able to get for, if I remember right, 150,000 Apexis shards back in 6.2. It was a lot of fucking shards, and we all farmed them out because this was a really cool mount, man. Holy fuck, guys. Oh, my God. 
I don't even know what I'm gonna be able to do. There are so many. There are so many good sets. All right. Everybody get on your mounts. I'm gonna do my pass around. We're gonna look at our losers. And we're gonna find our winners. I'll give you all just one second to make the final touches. I'm going to uh, make a notepad. I've always done these. I literally just write them down on the other monitor so you guys can't see it. Okay, let's go back and we're gonna look around here. Akia Chan, you did not get on that mount originally. This was not the mount that you originally got on. You were trying to cheat, I see you. Fuck, man. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, guys. Like, oh my god. Like, oh my god, bro. Like... Oh my god. It's just... Top 10? Like, these are really hard to, uh, to decide, guys. It really is. Oh, man. This is the best NA comp I think we've ever had for Alliance. All things considered, this is the best one. Like, I... There you go. Oh my god. I, I gotta think about this. Okay, let me think about this. I've, I've really like, oh my god. Oh my god, top seven? No, 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 not seven. I feel like there is no way like, I, I am not 100% confident on these rankings. I, I feel confident, but not 100% confident. Oh, man, like, it's just, it's so hard to say. Oh, my God. It's just so fucking hard to say, guys. I just... Let me just think. Let me think right now. Let me think. A team's been working. Please don't pick any cucks. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Top five worst. Uh, it's uh, this guy uh, five times. Okay. Um... I feel like I know who first place is, and I know who second place is, but I don't really know any of the other ones, because I feel like there's like five or six of them that could all be third to fifth place. You know what I mean? Like, there's like five or six of them. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, place six to three is... Yeah. It's like, oh my god, bro. Like, it's just, oh my god. It's so hard. Okay, listen. I I've got to just decide, okay? That's what it comes down to. I I've got to decide. I've got to do what I need to do. And I have to tell people what the options are, okay, guys? So, I am not confident in these. Uh, I, I don't really know. But we are going to try, and we're going to see what we're going to go with. Okay, guys? Tournament bracket for one, two, and three. All right, let me just think right now. Okay. One more lap around. One more lap around. I want to just be absolutely certain that I'm not forgetting anybody. Man, oh, this is just so hard. Jesus, guys. Jesus. All right. All right, let's do it. 
I have to make a decision. Okay. I've decided. Number five. Fifth place. A very interesting set. And I feel like this has happened a lot of times in this transmog competition. Is we've had sets that were a little bit below average. But because of the mounts that were used, they ascended beyond that. And I think the best example of that is Dareboy, Champion of the Frozen Waste. I love this set with this mount. I think the transmog set itself was decent, but using that mount at the same time, get back on the mount, uh, was just so well done and so well designed that I think that you absolutely deserve fifth place for this. This is incredible. Like, you guys look at this. Like, this is fucking amazing. It looks like he was made to ride this fucking mount, man. This is insane. All right, dear boy. Congratulations. Fourth place. Fourth place. Somebody that, uh... I'm gonna be honest. I never thought... Not fifth place? Yeah, he got fifth place. Yeah, he got fifth place. I'm Now I'm talking about fourth place. Fourth place is going to go to somebody who I haven't given it to of many, many years. But there comes a second time for everything. Bash Cutter, you changed your setup. You made it different. And you made it unique. And you made it look good. And you know what? I'm going to give Bash Cutter fourth place for this. It's a really nice looking set. I like it a lot, and I think you deserve fourth place for it. It's interesting, it's cool, and also, it's purple. Good job. Now, third place. Third place is, in my opinion, a pretty easy decision. I, uh, I, I think third place is... In regards to these, I am very confident in my third place decision in giving third place to the prestigious Persidious. I really like this set a lot. I think this is also a set that fits incredibly well with the mount, and it's also an extremely fucking rare mount. And I like that a lot. I like the combination of the different shoulders. I think using remove from the game items and combining them with mythic sets is fucking amazing. I like it a lot. Good job. There are some people who dislike this. I understand that. I understand there are people that dislike this. It's number one. I don't think it's number one. I actually, I don't think so. I, I He deserved first place? No. I don't think so. But you guys can make your decision. I will explain why. Why if you guys want after I finish this. Okay? And you can tell me why I'm wrong. And I will tell you why you're wrong for thinking that I'm wrong. Presidious, you get third place. Now, second place. The decisions that I am very confident in. The decisions that I am the most confident in. Second place is a set that I think is incredibly elegant and very well designed. A lot of people try to pull off the Dark Shaman vibe and the Necromancer Shaman vibe. And to be honest with you, I think they all fucking fail at it. But Luana, the Deathstalker, I believe you did an incredible job. You went and you tried out a set and you used pieces that I've never seen used before. And you had the confidence to not use a chess piece in a way that was incredibly well designed. I think this is amazing. Really, really, really good fucking job. Mage? Is it a mage? I don't even know if it's a mage. Yeah, it's a, it, well, it's a mage set. Yeah, it's a mage player, but it looks like it's a, um, it looks like it's a dark shaman set. I think this is fucking amazing. Do you guys agree with this? I mean, this is really, really fucking nice. Yeah, Witch Doctor, this is amazing. I love it. It's incredible, guys. It's a warlock. It's whatever the fuck, okay? Who cares? It's a mage. All right. Now for first place. I never thought I would do this. Not even once. I never thought I would ever make this decision before in my life. 
But the fact is that sometimes some things might surprise you. Other things are as exactly as you'd expect them to be. And the fact is that I think first place easily without any questions is going to go to Blocky the Dark Shaman from Hellfire Citadel. This is fucking insane. This is an incredibly well-designed set. I love this. I think that everything about it fits together. And you know what? Blocky, I actually thought the set was good, but this mount completely took it to the next level. Uh, I, I love this. It's rigged. No, it's not rigged just because I give it to a guy in my guild. That's the way it goes. The dress sucked. I disagree. I think that it's fucking amazing. Blocky, you are getting first place. Congratulations, Blocky. Peepo sad. You are number six, Crow. The reason why I didn't give you a placement is actually pretty simple. It's because I felt like your set wasn't transformative enough away from the original set that you were wearing on your shoulders, gloves, and legs. That's the reason why I didn't give it to you, and also you didn't really have a mount that went with it. But overall, if you would have been, if there was a sixth place, it would have been you. Jakaris, I thought the mount was a little bit awkward. That's why I didn't give it to you. I'll go through and I'll tell you guys why I didn't give it to. Oh, oh, okay, all right, never mind. Everybody's out of control now. Wait, block! Wait, Dragon kicked Blocky out of the guild. Bro, oh my God! Dragon's not happy. Oh my God, Dragon, he's gone crazy. Oh no! <laughs> All right, can we get the winners coming up to the front? Okay, I want to see you guys' sets, and, and uh, yeah, let's get all uh, all four, all five of our winners here up at the very top. Okay, come on up over here. You guys did amazing. I, I, I'm actually really proud of you guys. You guys really really did well. Like, good fucking job. This is one of the best transmog competitions we've ever had. Well done, lads. Yeah, this is really 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 good. Give me one second. I'm going to wait for this one right here. There we go. Perfect. And we'll do one right from the middle. And I'm going to wait for that dragon to turn around. All right. There we go. Perfect. Gentlemen, it's been a long time since we've done an NA Alliance transmog comp. In the grand scheme of things, it is often considered the bottom of the barrel. However, today... Expectations have been shattered. And people have ascended beyond what I thought the Alliance was even possible of. I'm proud of you guys. You did amazing. Congratulations.